Highbridge Audio presents Dashiell Hammett's Return of the Thin Man, edited by Richard Lehman and Julie M. Rivette, with Peter Ganim as Nick, Nicola Barber as Nora, and Scott Brick as your narrator, featuring Emily Bauer, Dan Bittner, Cynthia Darlow, Richard Farone, Eliza Fox, Emma Galvin, Johnny Heller, Pete Larkin, Bill Lobley, Carol Monda, Rich Orlo, Paula Parker, and Vinnie Penna. With Zane Birdwell, Nathan Rospero, Iris McElroy, Fometa Sawyer, Tim Bader, Barbara Vlahidis, Terrell Harrell, Kevin Fakehu, and Alan Winter. Mr. Charles? Yes? Oh, Nicky, guess who this is? Oh, hello. It's good hearing your voice again. I didn't recognize it for a moment. How have you been? Who is it then? Oh, you don't think I'd ever forget your voice. Yes, I do. Who am I? Okay, who are you? Oh, Nicky, to think you'd forget poor little me in just a few years. I know your voice as well as I do my own, but I just can't place it at the moment. It's a Letty, Nicky. Who? Letty Finharden. Don't you remember? My papa used to have a lighthouse. Of course. This connection is so bad and there is so much noise I can hardly hear you. Nick and Nora, in evening clothes, are waiting for the butler to open the door. Nick is muttering to himself. Nora looks at him, puzzled. What are you muttering to yourself? I'm getting all the bad words out of my system. You'd better pull yourself together. Don't worry. One squint at Aunt Catherine would sober anyone. The door is opened by Henry the butler. Good evening, Henry. There is a chill in the massive hallway with its dim lights. Nick and Nora come in as Henry holds the door open. Good evening, madam, sir. Is this the waxworks? I beg pardon, sir. Nora smiles at Henry. Nothing, Henry, nothing. She gives Nick a warning look and starts for the library. I'll just leave my things down here. She goes down the hall, taking off her evening coat as she goes. The butler turns to Nick and helps him off with his coat. He touches Nick's things as if the mere contact with them might contaminate him. It's all right. It's not catching. The butler puts them down and starts toward the drawing room door. Will you walk this way, sir? The butler hobbles away ahead of Nick, hardly able to move on his rheumatic legs. Nick looks after him. I'll try. He starts to follow the butler, giving a grotesque imitation of his walk. As he passes the library door, Nora comes out, catches up with him, and grabs his arm, laughing at him. The butler announces them at the door of the drawing room. As they hear the announcement, they straighten up. Here goes. They start to walk in, sedately. As Nick and Nora come in the door, Aunt Catherine comes forward to greet them. How do you do, my dear? Nora kisses Aunt Catherine and then turns to include Nick. You remember Nick? Although she is doing her best to be gracious, Aunt Catherine finds it impossible to look at him. How are you, Nicholas? As Nick hears his name, he starts. Catherine turns back toward the room full of people. Come right in. Helen comes up to Nora, who turns to greet her. Hello, Cousin Helen. Helen gives her a peck. How are you, you poor child? Nick gives Cousin Helen a swift look as he hears the commiserating tone of her voice. But Aunt Catherine has him in tow and he follows her. Aunt Catherine speaks to the whole family. This is Nora's husband. Nick looks from one to the other of the people. They are doing their best to appear pleasant, but the result is not very cordial. Aunt Catherine turns back to him. I think you know everyone. I seem to remember the old faces. 
Nora quickly takes Nick's arm and pilots him toward another group. What's up? They're all so polite. Nora smiles and takes him to Charlotte and William. This is Aunt Charlotte and Uncle Willie. Nick acknowledges the introduction with the same sickly sweet smile that they give him. And now for Aunt Hattie. From behind them, Charlotte's voice is heard. Poor Nora is so brave. Again, Nick hears the commiserating poor Nora. What's this poor Nora business? That's because I'm married to you. Then they reach Aunt Hattie. Aunt Hattie, you remember my husband? How are you? Don't mumble, young man, don't mumble. How are you? Still, Aunt Hattie doesn't hear. She's deaf as a post. You're telling me. Aunt Hattie holds out her receiving box of the audio phone. What did he say? Nick takes the box and speaks into it, as if it were a microphone. When you hear the chime, it will be exactly... But Nora gives him a slight boot from behind. Nick turns sharply toward her. Nora catches sight of Selma in the doorway. Selma! Selma has managed to regain some of her composure. Nora comes quickly to her, kissing her warmly. Oh, Nora. Nora, it's so good to see you. How are you, Selma? Nick approaches, and Selma turns to him. Hello, Nick. Hello. It's sweet of you to come. I wouldn't have missed it for a million dollars. What's the trouble, Selma? Tell me. But Aunt Catherine comes up quickly, putting a firm hand on Selma's arm. We'll postpone any discussion until after dinner. She turns to speak to the rest. Shall we go in now? She holds out her hand to the general. Thomas? The general comes quickly to her side and gives her his arm. Where's Robert? Selma is about to speak, but Aunt Catherine hastily intervenes. Robert telephoned that he was unavoidably detained, so we'll start without him. 